Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a remote control switch or a spike buster. First, let's take a quick preview of the end product. Before starting the project, first let me thank jlcpcb.com for sponsoring this video and also supplying the board which I used in this project. So without wasting any more time, let's start the project. My first step was to draw the circuit diagram on a CAD software. So I am using KiCad. Next step was to find out the IR codes. For this, I am using this circuit diagram. Next, I downloaded the IR library. The link to this page will be in the description. Next, I extracted the entire uh, contents of the folder. Then renamed it to IR remote. And then copied the entire folder. Next, I opened my Arduino IDE and opened the window preferences. Next, I went to the path which is under the sketchbook location and pasted the IR remote folder inside libraries. This is the sketch I am using to determine the IR codes. Next, I selected the board, port and programmer. And then uploaded my sketch to the Arduino Uno. Next, I opened Serial Monitor, which is under uh, Tools. Next, I found out the codes of the buttons I will be using. For this project, I will be using 4 buttons. Next, I press the buttons to find out the codes. And copy the 4 codes. This is my final sketch to control my relays. For you people the codes will be different. So replace the codes where I am replacing it. After replacing the codes, upload the sketch to the a standalone at Mega 328P. If you are not familiar on how to upload the sketch to a standalone at Mega 328P, I have made a separate video. The link to that video will be in the description. Next, I verify the entire circuit by constructing it on a breadboard. After verifying, I started uh, designing my layout. Then I extracted the Gerber and the drill file. Next, I created a zip folder of the Gerber files and the drill file. Next, I uploaded the Gerber files in jlcpcb.com website for fabrication. You can download the Gerber files of this project from the link given in the description. After downloading the uh, Gerber file, uh, login into your jlcpcb.com website and click on account and then select the option instant order and then upload your Gerber files. After uploading the Gerber files, uh, select the necessary options. Uh, and uh, provide the necessary shipping details and make the payment to get your custom PCB board of this project. Uh, 
After placing the order, I started working on my external enclosure. For the enclosure, I am using a switchboard, which is available in your local uh, electrical stores. Next, I connected the neutrals of the uh, female plug. Next, I made necessary holes to fit a uh, DC jack, uh, LEDs and the PCB board. After a few days, I received the board. The build quality of the board was very good. I definitely recommend ordering from jlcpcb.com. Then I mounted all the components and secured them with solder. Next, I mounted the PCB board onto the uh, switchboard. Next, connected the DC jack with 5V and the ground which is on the board. This will be my AC cable. Next, connect the neutral wire of the AC cable to the neutral pin of the female plug. Next, connect the live wire of the AC cable to the pin in on the board. Next, connect the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4 on the board to their respective female plugs. Next, I inserted the indicator LEDs to their respective uh, female plugs. First I tested uh, without connecting the AC power. Uh, this is to make sure that everything is safe. Next I connected the 5V uh, 1 amp uh, adapter to the DC jack. This is to power the uh, board. That's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification. Thank you guys for watching the video and also thank you jlcpcb.com for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys.